welcome back to my channel so um, I'm just jumping on to show you a quick haul that I've done today um, I've bought more paper I'm just gonna stop saying that I'm not gonna buy any more paper because clearly that's not true um, so I got a voucher um, through for Hobbycraft um, just one of the spend and save vouchers so um, I wanted an aged mahogany distress oxide because it was the one that I forgot to order when I put my order in to crafters companion so I thought well while I've got the voucher I might as well make most of it um, so I picked one of those up um, and I also picked up one of these little um, treasure boxes um, I did have one and I kept my mixed media um, pick and mix cards in in it um, but I've just used it for a top secret project that you will see um, around Valentine's Day so I can't say any more than that at the moment but I just wanted to replace it um, and I'm going to do, um, decorate it up with something um, the one that I've used was actually plain so I hadn't got around to do anything so I picked that one up um, I picked up some crepe paper rolls just in um, a bright pink and a yellow these are in the Easter collection they're a pound in Hobbycraft and I've picked them up to do some paper rosettes I'm not very good at the um, crepe paper rosettes but I, I really like them so I just keep trying and hope that one day I'll, I'll get there um, the other thing that I picked up from Hobbycraft was these doilies. Um, again, they were about a pound. Um, they are a pack of ten and you get five silver and five gold, I think. They're actually in with the kids' crafts, um, but I bought them because I thought they'd be nice to go on bag toppers and things like that. So that was what I got from Hobbycraft. I then um, went up into town and went to the works. Again, I'd got a spend and save type voucher for the works. So I thought I might as well use it up. Um, so I picked up, there wasn't loads in the works that I wanted today. Um, they are, she, they were having a big sale, but there wasn't really anything that I wanted. But she did say that they're selling it all off because they'll be getting the new stocking soon. So I picked up some double-sided tape, just I'm completely out of double-sided tape that size. So I just picked some of those up. Um, I picked up some basic cards in a cream, just a pack of 10 cards and envelopes. I like their cards and envelopes, they're quite sturdy. Um, so if you're wanting a pre-made card, they're really good. I quite often make my own, but um, sometimes it's just handy to have those in. Um, and then I picked up some paper because obviously I've got a paper problem. Oops. Um, I picked these up because, they're, again, they're nice and thin, so I thought they might be quite nice for making paper flowers. I could just imagine some of these um, making really beautiful paper flowers um, I liked all the scripty ones in this one I thought they'd make um, quite nice sort of vintagey looking flowers and then there was this one feeling happy um, this has got more sort of ombres and spring sort of colours so again I thought they'd make lovely flowers um, I thought they, if you know I could make them look like the Prima the patterned Prima flowers um, this one already looks like it's got some texture so it looks like a screwed up piece of paper so I thought that might be quite nice um, and again, some of those sort of washed watercolour effects. Um, they always make nice flowers. Um, and then there was this one, um, Loving Home, which I thought was really pretty. And again, just a little bit unusual. I like the colours. It's sort of a corally colour and a navy and a, a slightly paler blue. Um, I like that woven sort of look. That one looks like cork. Yeah, just very pretty. Um, I like the denim. That was the one that really sold me on it because um, I could just imagine some denim look flowers. I thought they'd be really nice. Um, and, you know, you could you could make coordinating flowers, so different styles of flowers, but make them all out of, you know, the one booklet. And then you're going to have coordinating flowers to go on your project. So that was what I picked up in the works. Um, I then went to the pound shop and didn't get anything particularly exciting in the pound shop. I just picked up some glues. So I picked up a super glue. Um, I think it's more... Oh no, that's the liquid one. I thought I'd picked up the gel one. But I haven't. I picked up the li liquid one. Never mind. It'll be fine. Um, and this one, because it's supposed to be flexible and you can glue pretty much anything. So I wanted to try this one because it says you can glue metal, glass, ceramics. So I thought this might be quite good for um, when you're gluing your mixed media elements on. Um, I thought it might be like the sort of E6000 or whatever it is that they have in the States. So I'm going to give that one a whirl. Um, I nipped into Wilco's for a few other things and picked up some of this. I just thought I'd show it to you. Um, I don't buy expensive paper tapes. Um, washi tape sometimes isn't sticky enough when you're wanting to hold a die down. But Micropore tape is. It's fantastic. Um, 
and I thought about it because I'm a nurse so obviously we used to use this a lot when I worked in the hospital um, and it's strong and sticky but it doesn't it's really gentle on the skin so I thought oh, I bet that'd be good on paper so um, I tried it and it is really really good so I tend to always try and have a roll or two of that in it's about 60 pence for a, a roll and a roll will last ages um, so yeah um, I also went into a local charity shop and found this, um, which is obviously a children's little um, fold-out case that's got all pens and crayons. And, and obviously I don't want it for that. Um, I'm going to rip all the insides out and throw it away. And then I'm going to um, gesso over all of the outside and the inside and then cover it in some pretty papers, etc, etc. And I'm going to... Um, turn it into a, a sort of like an embellishment case and I'm going to fill it full of home, handmade embellishments and I'm going to send it off to um, a lady on YouTube that I admire um, and that I think has done a lot of good work for our community over the past year so I intend to fill it with goodies and ship that over to the States for her um, and then finally I did nip into the range um, I can't help going into the range, I can't walk past it. Um, and I've got a big pile of things um, from there. I actually only nipped in for these. I wanted some mini clamps because I can't find, I think I've got about two left of mine. These are £1.49 for a set, but they're fantastic when you're wanting to, you know, just keep something in place but carry on and, and do something else. You can just pop a little clamp on it and um, move on. Um, I also picked up a selfie stick. Just having a mouthful of tea. Um, I've tried to film my um, craft room a couple of times to show you my craft room um, and I keep, um, I'm quite shaky, um, I think it's the fibre makes me quite shaky, um, so it's, I can't, I just haven't been able to do it and um, have a video that's watchable, so I thought maybe if I got a selfie stick that might be... I don't know, it might not, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway, um, so I can try and show you my craft room. If not, I will rope my daughter into helping me um, to do that, because I would like to share it. Um, they had got these, um, they were only a pound, and they are, get it in the, in the camera there, they are super, super glittery um, love heart stickers, and obviously with Valentine's Day. Um, around the corner I just thought they would be useful and, and I will use them I'm trying really hard not to buy stickers unless I know I'm going to use them um, and I know I will use those um, I'm trying really hard not to buy paper but apparently that one's a big fat fail um, so I bought another one this was only a pound this was in the range um, I bought it because I like the little cut parts at the back and then it's got some really interesting um, papers some really sort of different ones that I've never I've never seen anything like that in in the UK before um, it sort of reminds me of some of the papers that you see that um, folks over in the States haul um, I just thought it was really different so yeah I picked up this one uh, that's that one that's it so that's hey lovely um, I picked up some just plain white cardstock because I'm nearly out. Um, this is my favourite white cardstock. I buy this in the black and I buy it in the white. I use it for my card bases. It's 210 GSM, so it's just the right thickness that when you sort of add a few layers to it, it doesn't become too, too bulky. Um, but it's sturdy enough that if you don't add too many layers, it will still, you know, um, stand as a nice firm card. So that's £3 and you get 50 sheets. Um, and like I say, I, buy, I always buy that in the black and the white um, and that's generally, um, they do do a cream one in a slightly different brand, um, but they're the only ones that I use to make my card bases. Um, I then found some 12 by 12 pads that I had to have. So one of them was just one of the normal pads, um, and it's just the, the vintage one. Um, and again, I bought this because it's got lots of elements that you could um, cut out. So it's got some beautiful papers. Um, you know, some really grungy, they're good for mixed media. But it's also got, like, these cut parts. And ephemera and cut parts are something that can be quite hard to come by in the uk although it, apparently it seems to be getting they seem to be getting the message that you know that's something we would like more of so i love this one with the vintage typewriters and cameras and sewing machines and telephones you know and you could fussy cut these you know you don't have to use a sheet of paper you could fussy cut the elements out um and i just there, there wasn't i love that piece absolutely love it gorgeous gorgeous piece 
there wasn't a piece of paper in here that I didn't like. Again, you could cut all of these individual elements out and use them individually. And then you get this whole sheet of um, amazing cut aparts and then it all repeats again. So you get two of everything in that one. So for, for 3 99 I just thought that was a fantastic value. Because um, like I say, it's not something you come across all that much in the UK. But then I found these. Um, they're called journaling design pads. There's two different styles in my um, um, the range. I've bought them both, obviously. Um, and again, I've bought them because they've got the most amazing um, die cuts in the back. Um, so I probably won't use it for its purpose because I think it's meant to be for, you know, used for doing your journals. Um, but I just love the elements. Um, so it's got some beautiful sayings. Throw kindness round like confetti. In a field of roses, I'm a wildflower. Um, when you love what you have, uh, a beautiful thing is never perfect. I just love it. Really, really, really love it. Um, I just I can see myself using these elements in, in all sorts. Um, and then you've got these. So this is obviously, this is the bit that's supposed to be in your journal. So you've got the, um, the ruler. Um, it's going to be a little bit glary because it's, a lot of it's gold foiled. Um, and then you've got like tabs here and but I will use these in in a different way and I will use them um, this is the sort of thing that I'm always looking for I always watch the folks over in the states haul these sorts of things and I'm always super jealous um, and then we've got these ones so you've got all the all the months down the side there you've got holidays and things um, down the side there um, so you know I will find ways of using that and then you've got some lovely things like hello lovely coffee time best friends happy days uh, my dear memories so you've got loads of things little um frames there that you can use to put little pictures on um, but you can use these all as layering elements so you've got little hearts and flags and i just love it i didn't even have a proper look through it in the shop i looked at about three pages and was like i have got to have this um, and then you've got things down the bottom there so um, again you've got things like let's go to the seaside or no sorry let's go outside smell the flowers so you don't have to use that in a journal um, and then you've got, so these are the tracker bits, um, but again, you could layer this up in like a junk journal or, um, you know, lots of different ways. All these bits down the bottom here you could definitely use. Um, I just really, really liked um, the whole pad. Um, and even if you didn't like, you know, even if you don't want to use the tracker elements, you could, you know, you could trim out these bits and, and not use the top elements there or you could just use the backside because the the backside is just a really pretty sort of um, ditzy black and white floral um, and then you've got some patterned papers and you know there's some beautiful foiling that's gold and white foil um, you've then got some like graph paper or on the other side you've got some big cutter parts now they're probably a little bit big for me to use um, but um, I really love the graph paper so I will use that um, and then you've got, again, it's graph paper, but this is thinner. So that's really nice because, again, you could use that to make flowers. So you get one thin version and then you get the same thing, but it's in a thicker um, GSM. And then black and white floral. That one's beautiful with the scribbly, scrawly black and white dots. And then the pink um, and white love hearts. And black and white, I just think you can use black and white with anything. I love black and white patterns. That one's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. I love them. It's really pretty. That's like a very um, pale sage green. And then you've got that beautiful one there. So that's that one. And that's the one with the sort of mint green um, bottom. And then they had another one, um, which is the same thing. It's a journaling design pad, but this one's got the pink um, pink cover on it. So it's um, it's a slightly different pad. Um, but again, it's made up of all different um, cutter parts that you can. So I'll just flick through this one really quickly. Um, I like this one because it had got, um, you know, very sort of different. I liked all the, the faces and the people and wow. And uh, you can see that there. And again, this is foil, but this is more sort of a rosy gold, the foiling on this one. Um, and then you've got, you know, birthday, vacation, celebrate. Again, you've got all the months and holidays down the side there. Um, journaling sort of cards over over on the side there you know and these can be altered and then some more uh, beautiful um, cutouts and um, you know die cuts little frames again 
and then that one's got a really pretty sort of ditzy floral in in a pale pink and then you've got these brilliant cut aparts um, happy girls are the prettiest girls beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself don't spend time beating on a wall hoping to transform it into a door i just love them i love these sayings yes i will be using these in art journals i think and then you've got this fantastic sort of um, honeycomb one and then you've got the trackers on the back of there again so again you've got these you know lovely strips down the bottom there that you could use um and you you know you could cut these out and and use them you know tuck them in um journals and things or you could just use the back side um then this one's like a really lovely stripe um, with the lemons on it peach lemons i've never seen that before peach and white hearts you see that one's brilliant you could cut these bits out and use them as um you know words on your projects or use the the heart side so that one's really pretty again it's like a, a, a sort of rough hand-drawn dot in sort of a fawn color and then you've got the peach and blue stripes on that side that one's really vibrant um palm leaves in blues and pinks and then you've got it again in the card this one's lovely it's a navy and white um love heart and then it's got beautiful that'll be a hard one to choose i like both of those on the back there then you've got the navy scrawly dot oh and a beautiful beautiful pink marble i love that pink marble oh, i really do love that one and then a pink graph paper beautiful big floral and then the ditzy flower oh and a gorgeous gorgeous dark marble love them so that's um that's what i've hauled today i'm hoping my husband doesn't watch this video because um i promised i wasn't going to buy any more paper and here i am with about seven more pads but no there's no excuse there's no point trying to make one i loved them so i bought them um that's why i go to work so i will now get all of this put away and then um my intention is after tea tonight to um film another flower making tutorial um i have got another way um cheap and easy way of making flowers so i'm going to do a, another video later on for that one so thank you very much for joining me um for this haul and i will see you all very soon in the next video bye for now